and welcome back to Hack Code. In this video, we'll be solving a liquid problem. Remove nth node from the end of the list. We'll cover two different approaches to solve this problem, the two pass and the one pass approaches. We'll also provide a detailed explanation, flowchart to visualize the algorithms, right end and complexity analysis for each approach. So here, the problem statement is given the head of the linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. So what it means like we have to remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. Basically, uh, it, it would be more clear when you look at examples. So let's look at an example here. So in example one, uh, they have given us the list like one, two, three, four, five, and the n is given us two. So we need to remove the second uh, last node from the end of the list. So uh, it means to say that we need to get rid of this reference and uh, point three to three dot next to five, right? How do we do that? In code, it's very simple. We can do that like node dot next is equal to node dot next dot next. So that's how we get it to the four and then we point three to five. So next in example two, we have head is equals to one, n is one. So like this is the case where like we have only uh, one uh, uh, node in the list. So it's the same node like uh, like if you take even if the uh, start of the list or end of the list, so only the same L, uh, node, right? So we just remove that node and it in the uh, empty, like within the null, that is a new head. Since we remove it, like head would be null. So that's why here the output is empty list. So here in example three, uh, we have the uh, list is one, two, and n is one. So we need to remove the last but one node. So that's why we remove the two and then we return just one. This is the uh, head we're returning it. So let's look into constraints here. So the number of nodes in the list is SZ. So they meant it to be size here. So here uh, the size is in the inclusive range of one to 30 and the node value is in the inclusive range of zero to 100 and n lies in the inclusive range of one to SZ. So he, this is the uh, initial code given. So let's look into the approaches. So approach one, two post method. So this is very simple, right? Like uh, here, like first we need to traverse the list to find its length, and then we calculate the position of the node to remove from the start of the list. So that make our pointer to reach where the n minus one node exists. And then we just change its next reference to the next dot next, that's all. And then, so let's run the flowchart here. So here, uh, we just start and initialize with the length is equal to zero and then uh, we set the current is equal to head and then uh, we wait it until is current not null. So if current is not null, we just increment the length and move the current to the next and then after the current is null, what we do is we just set the dummy node and current to the dummy and then uh, we move the current uh, like to the uh, length n minus one steps to just uh, be there at the like n minus one node from the end uh, and then we remove the nth node from the end. So and then return the modified list. So let's look into the diagram for this. So here it's very uh, simple. Uh, so let me take this. And so first we trade uh, till like one, two, three, four, five. And like this is just the list here. Uh, and we, we keep track of the length, right? So that is like length here is five. Now that we got the length of the list, we need to iterate till L minus N. That is uh, till current reaches the position L minus N is five minus two here, which is three. Uh, let's assume we are at the third position now. So now we just need to remove this reference from three to four and make it three to five. How do we do that? Like we just make it like uh, node dot next is equal to node dot next dot next. And then this would point to five. And then uh, we just get rid of the reference to the four. That's how uh, we remove the nth node from the end here. So let's look into the code for the same. So here we just initializing the length is equal to zero. And then uh, we just uh, keeping the current point to the head and then so while current is not null we just find the length of the uh, list using length is equal to length plus one and make the current is equal to current dot next and then after that uh, we, we form a dummy node this to keep track of your head uh, to return at the end so and then we just keep it here dummy dot next is equal to head so dummy dot next always points to the head here and then we point the current to the dummy so I've like we just don't need to change the dummy because we, we should have the reference to the head, right? So that's why we just uh, point the current to the dummy. And, and then what we are doing is we should now uh, make our current point to the length minus n. So we just iterating in that range here. So uh, here, uh, like for each iteration, we point the current to the current dot next. So now uh, uh, once this completes, we will be at the position of length of n minus one. So now what we need to do is as we discussed, we just need to point the current dot next is equal to current dot next dot next. And then at the end, we should return the head of the language. How do we do that? We just return the dummy dot next because the dummy dot next points to the head, right? 
so that's how uh, we get the reference to the head using the dummy so here the let's discuss the complex analysis uh, the time complexity is o of l where l is the length of the linked list uh, this is because even though we traverse it two times this is like o of 2l at the worst case but 2 is ignorable constant here that's why it's o of l so space complexity is o of 1 here because we don't use any variables that go with the size of the linked list uh, we're just using the constants here so next is one pass approach uh, the algorithm starts like this like uh, we use the two pointers like first and the second so uh, we move the like first to n plus 1 steps ahead after that we will be moving the both pointers until the first reaches the end so now the second will be pointing to the node just before the target node so we just remove the target node here by making the node dot next is equal to node dot next dot next Let's look into the flowchart for this approach. So here uh, we start and initialize the dummy node, and then we set the first and the second to the dummy. Uh, we move the first to the n plus one steps ahead, and then then we check if is first at the end. If no, we move the first and second one step ahead, and then if first is at the end, we just remove the nth node from the end, and we return the mod for list. So let's look into the dry run. So here uh, the list is one two three four five and n is equal to two. The first pointer is represented using the brown and the second pointer is represented using the blue. So as we discussed, uh, firstly uh, we make the uh, bra like first pointer to pass like n plus one steps. So we make it like reach till three here because like uh, n plus one is two here, two plus one is three. So here the third node is three. So we we make the first pointer point to this one. And then uh, initially, this like the second pointer would be pointing to the just the first node, and then after this uh, we move the both pointers uh, one step ahead, right? So we move this uh, first pointer to the next element, and the similarly uh, here the second pointer to also the uh, next, and then in the next iteration we make this to point to five, and the two to point to three. Since uh, the first pointer reached the end now, so the second pointers next now point to the target node. So we just remove this reference and uh, make this point to five. Uh, th this just like we make it like node dot next is equal to node dot next node test. So we have the uh, node removed here. So let's look at the code here. Firstly, we just initialize the dummy to the list node of zero. Remember, this dummy is not part of the uh, main list. This is just to keep track of our head. So that's why we point the dummy to next to head. So after that, we declare two pointers, first and second, and make them point to the dummy. So as we discussed, uh, we should make the first to be the n plus one steps ahead of the second pointer. So that's why we use the for loop for the same, and then for each the uh, iteration, we just point the first to the first dot next. After that. While the first is not null, we just make one one step ahead here for the first and second pointer. Suppose that we just remove the uh, like since uh, like when the first reaches the null or end, we know that the second dot next would be pointing to the target node. That's why we keep our second dot next point to the second dot next dot next. Like this is to get rid of the reference we had for the second dot next. At the end, we return the head of the list. How do we do that? Uh, using the dummy dot next here. Please. So let's look into the complex analysis. So the time complexity is O of L, where L is the length of the linked list, and the space complex is O of one. Demo and conclusion. So I got the code ready here. Uh, let's get that. So here, uh, as we see, uh, we just uh, declare the two methods for the two different approaches. So firstly, let's try submitting the two post method. Submit. So we have this accepted solution and beats 40%. Let's try submitting the single pass method. So yeah, it beats the 78.9%, almost 79%. So better solution. Conclusion. In this video, we explored two approaches to solve the problem of removing the nth node from the end of the linked list. The two post method is simple and intuitive, but the one post method is more efficient and elegant. So here, uh, understanding these approaches will help you tackle similar problems and improve your problem solving skills for code interviews. Thank you for tuning to this sort of hack code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips. 
If you have any questions or solutions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.